name is Nishat Nizar and I work at the Sciences Department at Melbourne Museum. I have something really interesting I would like to show you all. This is a, a glass sponge. This one is called Euplectella aspergillium and is found in the coastal waters of the Philippines and Fiji. The structure is actually made up of a glass, a bioglass or silica in that sense. It's very similar to the glass used in industry for optic fibers. Glass sponges have a lattice-like structure that are made up of you know, thousands of spicules which are arranged layer by layer by the organism. There are tiny flagella organisms that line the outside of the actual sponge which move um, and allow water to be channeled through the actual sponge as means for filter feeding. One attribute that makes them quite amazing is that at the base of um, the actual sponge, there is a bioluminescent bacterium which is found in between the spicule layers. This bacterium bioilluminates the entire scaffold. You would find them uh, lit up like Christmas trees underwater, which is quite awesome. Another interesting thing about this organism is that they have little sponge lobsters which make their way through the actual openings and uh, over time, as they grow, they remain trapped for their entire life. The sponge provides a nice, safe environment for the lobsters to grow and the excrement and other sea debris that shed off the actual organism is utilized by the sponge. This is a beautiful symbiotic relationship Glass sponges only make up 7% of all described sponge species known to science. The main reason we don't know much about them is because they live at depth. And this is an area where science is focusing on at the moment.